Hello everybody, it's Zach here from realestatelicensewizard.com. Today we're going over another one of our practice real estate exam questions. If you're new here, the way this works, we post a new question every Monday through Friday. Simple as that. If you do have any questions you want me to cover, please comment the full questions down below or send us an email with a question. This series is amazing for anyone preparing for the real estate exam, so make sure to click that like button and subscribe. That way you're fully prepared come exam day. Anyways, let's just jump right into it. So today's question has to deal with land use controls. So the question states, what is the biggest difference between private and public land use controls? So it gives us four options. A, uh, private land use controls are written in the Constitution, while public are up to local governments. Option B, public land use controls are written in the Constitution, while private are up to local governments. Option C, the government does not write or enforce private land use controls, but it does impose and enforce zoning. Or option D, the government writes or enforces private land use controls, but it does not impose and enforce zoning. So got some big options there. So I'm going to give you guys uh, an opportunity to pause here, uh, read it through, come up with your educated guess or your educated answer. Uh, and yeah, here's a couple seconds for you guys. All right, so hopefully you guys figured it out. Uh, and again, the question is, what is the biggest difference between private and public land use controls? Well, the correct answer for this one is C, the government does not write, and I'm going to underline this, does not write or enforce private land use controls, but it does impose and enforce zoning. So here's the deal, guys. Uh, as this states, the government when, when you think of government and government powers, if you guys are new to this channel, this might be new to you, but if, you're, if you've been watching and following along, you guys are familiar with government powers. One of the government's powers is zoning. That's how they kind of regulate areas, uh, you know, by maintaining, you know, maybe heights of properties, zoning areas to commercial, residential, all that stuff, special use. Um, that's how uh, public land is used or controlled. Now, when it comes to private land use controls, like we were talking about in our last video, like CCRs, uh, deed restrictions, things like that, the government does not impose those. Those are private because somebody sat there and they wrote it themselves for their own property uh, or maybe you know, for their own community, like a uh, co condominium or a, a complex, uh, so something like that. So again, that's the difference between the two. Um, again, uh, the government does not write or enforce private land use controls, but it does impose and enforce zoning or public land use controls. So hopefully you guys understood that. Hopefully I explained well. Um, feel free to leave any comments, questions down below. I'd love to have a conversation with you guys if you are struggling with these types of things. Uh, that's what all what this channel is about. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Uh, don't forget to hit this uh, like button and subscribe for more real estate uh, exam related stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it for me today, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Zach from realestatelicensewizard.com. Make today magical.